Stick around for puppies, but first, let's shoot some film. So I'm out here socially distancing, doing a little bit of photography, uh, attempting to hopefully, hopefully finding anything. I've got some color plus here. I've got my Siconic light meter going to load my first ever roll of Kodak Color Plus. Uh, there's the camera, Color 200. Um, as smoothly as you might expect in a country that has completely botched a pandemic uh, relief effort. Going to put my meter at 200. Dropped my phone, this is fun. Also, you just missed the sound a cow actually makes, which is more akin to someone like choking a cow to death. It's not exactly as deserted as it was a few years ago when I first started coming out here. Guess I'll roll up and down the road for a minute. Try to stay a little warm. I definitely need to note that this was recorded not under any quarantine order. We were keeping a very safe distance apart and we went out into the country in a very unpopulated area so that I could show Michelle how to use her 4x5 camera uh, using my 4x5 camera so she could take advantage of it during this uh, difficult time of trying to figure out how to be artists when we're mostly confined to home and especially confined uh, away from people. I shot uh, here while waiting and realized it was gray and there wasn't a whole lot of color in this location. So I didn't have really high hopes for this, but I decided to try anyway. And hopefully not leave this on top of the car. After seeing so much of Conspiracy of Cartographers photographs on Instagram, that's Eric from the All Through a Lens podcast. Eric will develop all of his color film and eat the ECN2 process. So as you know uh, from recent videos, that that's the process that cinema film uses. His photos looked interesting. I decided since this was kind of a gray day and there wasn't a lot of color anyway, that I would go ahead and give the ECN2 process a try on this film. And I'm really glad I did. I completely love how this came out. I'm perfectly happy just using this process from here on out, at least at the moment. I'm going to keep shooting this. And also, uh, I mentioned puppy pictures. If you stick around, I'll show you uh, several pictures I shot of my puppies just for lighthearted good times using the ECN2 process. We can do this. Seven inch lens, F4.8, that's pretty fast. That's nice. That's a Copal number one shutter. Cool, okay, nice, very nice. I love those Calumets, they're tanks. Tighten that one down first so you don't, yeah. To focus, you're just gonna be moving the back sta standard back and forth. See, you've got a really long monorail to focus on, so that's good. So you'll just kinda, when you get the dark cloth on, you'll wanna look around the, the ground glass, like in a circle because it's so dim that you see it best in the middle, but you can miss stuff in the corners of your composition. Okay. You're good. <laughs> okay, so that lens board facing the lens, of course, yeah. The dark slide, I mean, facing the lens. Okay, you're stopped down. Yeah, okay. Your lens is closed. Your, your shutter's cocked. Okay, good. Yeah. It's just good because it's so easy to forget that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay. So you can go ahead and pull it. Nothing's going to happen here. And if it were sunny, you could, like, hold that onto the side to block it from the light and everything. But we're, we don't have to worry about that. So, yeah, now just gently hold onto the cable and... Okay, you're good. Put the flip the board the other way around so you know it's shot. And you have taken a picture. And just make sure that's in there. Yep, and you can go ahead and lock the tab down. All right, cool. We shot a few frames each. I was mostly there just to kind of 
hang around and make sure to answer questions. But I did grab a couple of pictures, which uh, we'll look at in a moment. And here's Michelle's first 4x5 photograph, which I think is really cool. There was a definite problem on this frame. I think it was a mixture of loading and loading it on the reel and uh, anyway, first time problems, but it actually came out kind of cool if you ask me. Follow Michelle on Instagram at Michelle Loves Film. She creates energetic and contemplative colloquial documentary photography with a variety of film on a variety of cameras. And now let's get back to her journey into 4x5. Out here, we're in the Polaroid Originals beanie. Sponsor me, I guess, or something. I don't know. Got a little rise to uh, add some horizon here. Could have gotten creative with a tilt, but my uh, tilt lever is broken. Keeping a safe distance here. <laughs> so I guess this is probably the last time we'll get to go out before the big quarantine. It's a, I do a lot better with people. So I feel pretty good about that one. I got four shots today. I get... I'll look back on this footage and it's like, remember mud? Yeah, mud was beautiful, man. Okay, I'm not wearing a mask, so this is super risky. Okay. So I'm gonna leave a towel, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'll leave this in the back of the car. <laughs> I'll back away. <laughs> then, and it'll be extra cool. Okay, so. Oh, well, well it's good to see you. Yeah, thanks for the oh, yeah. Good. Do it. Yeah, I just, like I said, just wait. I didn't I shoot a lot, but I did get this one. Uh, I call this my ghost cow. And then this one, I was very pleased with. That's the one where I had the rise to lower the horizon and everything because my tripod's not huge. But um, yeah, I, I'm really happy with it. I'd like to thank my patrons listed here. Check the link in the description if you want to join. Thank you all. You helped make this possible. And as promised, here's some puppy pictures just to lift your spirits, hopefully, because it's it's been a week. And uh, so be careful and please subscribe and turn on notifications. Comment. Uh, let me know what you think about the ECN2 photos and 4x5. Let me know what you might like to see during these uh, trying times and most of all stay safe stay distant stay inside or if you go outside be careful and stay far away from people it's good for you and it's good for them thanks and i will see you next week bye